it's uh, 8.22 and I'm in Washington DC at the Trump inauguration. There's people with fuck Trump signs standing right behind people with uh, Make America Great hats. There definitely seems to be strong opinions on each side. It's uh, three o'clock and uh, right now we're about to go see the protesters. Oh, me? Oh, sorry. It looks, it, looks like, it looks like my press pass ain't helping me today. Someone's like, someone smashed the limousine now, someone's sitting in the limousine rapping. This is getting stranger, man. Without not even being in a racial shit right yeah, now, yeah, yeah, just yeah, sitting yeah. on top of this limo, yeah. it's just because I've never been able to sit on top of a broken limo before. Yeah. I still see many people crowding around that burning out fire over there. And it's like... You know, uh, we're always going to gather around fire. Dudes are burning trash cans. There's just all trash cans on fire and shit. It's not, it's not really clear why they burn trash cans. There's a Trump supporter, and the Trump supporter is trying to put the fire out. We made it. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. There's large groups of people running now. Uh, don't quite know why yet. The police paddy wagon just floored it in reverse, almost took out about 15 different people because somebody just threw a rock through his window. You think I might get maced today? There's a good chance. Stay safe. <laughs> oh, well, fuck it, don't get maced. I don't, I don't know how, but we've got behind the army line. <laughs> I think we kind of slip past security because everyone's stuck in them. A guy who's anti Trump protester wanted to move the barricade to, to try and potentially stop traffic, and two Trump supporters had stopped him. You know what? This is First Amendment right. You can't do that. You just. And then one priest dude just walked over, touched man's on the shoulder and broke that shit up. Listen, and that's a protest! He's got in the riot. I don't know what I don't know what that dude just did. <laughs> I don't know what that dude just said, but it was powerful, bro. The guy just came, yeah, and just touched man's on the shoulder and said, listen, it's over, isn't it? And now he's disappeared, I can't even see it. The dude was magical. Dude selling ponchos. I just love that in the middle of all this shit, this one dude is just like, this, this, this is where the poncho trade thrives. <laughs> it's uh, 4 30 pm and I'm gonna go talk to these dudes. Do you think that um, maybe culturally it was sort of a progression of Obama with the first black president and stuff like that? Do you think um, a lot of people say that Trump is maybe a, a step back in that? Do you think that's true? I don't see that. No. You have the LGBT community. Trump raising a rainbow flag at his rallies. You have Peter Thiel, a gay man in Silicon Valley, a billionaire, all on board with Trump, and they're not getting respect from their communities. And that is what I see is like a disconnect. I don't understand it. That's not my America. Like, what's up? I don't understand much at all. I'm a 28-year-old person. It doesn't matter. He asks me a question. Yeah, you, you think your opinion matters, right? It definitely doesn't. I can I, I guarantee you, you that I'm not matters. lying. I, think I can you guarantee think your you. I voted that I, for Trump. Hell yeah! His opinion matter? Does his opinion matter? Why don't you go ask him the same question? You won't, Seminole. Why are you wearing a racist Indian on your head, bro? <laughs> It's been, a, it's been a weird day. It's one of the weirdest days I've had in a long time. Uh, it's sort of like a, 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 the, the, the most confusing thing was sort of the, the sort of anti-Trump protesters and the Trump protesters being in such close quarters all day, just sort of mingling in with each other. It was a, a strange day. Funny enough, do you know what I didn't see? There wasn't a lot of alcohol. And that wouldn't happen in England. <laughs> 